everybody, in this video, I want to demonstrate how to set up CPAP with the LTV 1200. Right now, we have the ventilator in uh, a volume mode, uh, underlying mode of SINV, tidal volume of 360, rate of 16. The difference between the LTV 1200 and the Revell ventilator is the setup. And if you look at the Revell ventilator setup for a non-evasive positive pressure ventilation in both BiPAP and CPAP, you remember that we have to start with that in the startup menu. The LTV 1200 is actually much different that we can actually have the ventilator running and then go straight into that mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate just how to go into um, CPAP and then we'll demonstrate a second video on BiPAP. So right now you can see that we have it in volume. We're in SIMV, um, tidal volume of 360, rate of 16. And I don't think there's ever really going to be an issue, um, or I should say a time where you would ever start with a patient intubated on the ventilator and then transition. So just know that you're just going to start up the ventilator and then we'll actually go through these steps. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually hit SIMV, make sure we're in SIMV. We want to hit select and have it blink and hit select again. And you can see already that I've got the pressure support turned off, but if it wasn't turned off and it was sitting at eight, we would actually turn this to zero and hit select. And you can see now that our EPAP l lights up and we're at five. So let's say we want an EPAP of eight and we hit select. The next thing we wanna see is we wanna see this light stop blinking and we want it to go solid and we wanna turn our rate to zero. We turn our rate to zero, and you can see now we're actually in non-evasive positive pressure ventilation. We have no pressure support, so we have no IPAP, and we have an EPAP of eight. And we can also see that the apnea backup has actually started, and it's actually taken off, and its underlying mode is going to be assist control with a rate of 12. The next thing we want to do, and I'm going to turn this back to our standard mode just for demonstration purposes. But the next thing we want to do is whenever we're in CPAP, we want to do a few things. We want to hold our select button down and we want to scroll over to vent op. And if you remember from the other video on the Revell, we always want to select an eye time profile of one. And we know that an eye time profile of one delivers now the breath over a tenth of a second, so 0.1. A rise time profile in nine would give the breath over nine tenths of a second or over one second. And remember the difference between rise time and eye time. Rise time is the amount of time the breath is delivered in a pressure delivery. And eye time is the amount of time the breath is held. So right now our eye time, the breath is being delivered over a tenth of a second and it's held for one second. The next thing we want to do, if you remember, is we want to go over to our flow termination and make sure our flow termination is set to 35%, hit select, and we want to go to our time termination and just always make sure that that's matching your eye time. Really the time termination is based on a pressure supported breath. And because we don't have any pressure supported breaths here, there's really no need to worry about your time termination. If you have any questions on this video or any other topics related to mechanical ventilation, please email me at eric.bauer at flatbridgehead.com. Thank you.